Hey, it's Wardy here from Champion Hot Tubs. Hope you're good. Uh, just a really, really quick video. Um, hope you're all good. Um, it's freezing cold here today. <laughs> it's snowing. I love it. Um, just a quick one about heat pumps, air source heat pumps. There's one here, over there, Wardy. Um, that's the SparNet one, heating up our rotor spa there. Okay. Um, I want to just quell some, some misnomers uh, that's out there on social media and various channels and stuff like that. Essentially, right, an air source heat pump, as long as you buy a decent one from a reputable uh, company and showroom or engineer or fitters, um, they really are a no-brainer. Um, you're looking at up to around about 75% energy efficiency improvement, okay, so 75% reduction in costs. Um, uh, a two kilowatt heater on a, uh, on, a, on a hot tub is roughly two kilowatts in, two kilowatts out. An air source heat pump is called COP, coefficient of performance. Um, you can get anything up to sort of five, six. This is rated at eight kilowatts, 8.8 .8 kilowatts. It hasn't got an 8.8 .8 kilowatt COP, but it's got a damn good COP. Um, it's based on the ambient air. All, pretty much all air source heat pumps uh, will operate down to minus 15. There's still energy at minus 15, believe it or not, even at absolute zero, which is minus 240 odd degrees centigrade, there's energy, um, but that's how they work, okay? If you look at a fridge, okay, it's, it's, this is a, um, a reverse cycle refrigeration circuit, really. Um, it can heat and it can cool. You put your hand at the back of a, um, your fridge, it's hot at the back of the fridge. Inside the fridge, it's cold. Well, on an air source heat pump here for a hot tub, that's cold, rejecting cold. Inside, it's hot. Um, there's an expansion valve in there, there's a compressor, uh, the re refrigeration gas that gets compressed goes through an expansion valve, there's a pressure drop, um, there's basically heat exchange going on, I don't want to put too much detail in there, but essentially that. Um, running costs of hot tubs, there's another misnomer, okay, I've heard, uh, I had someone ring me up the other day, £420 a week it's cost me to run my hot tub, never, you know, even if a two kilowatt heater was on 24-7, 365 days a year, or 30 days of a month, it ain't going to cost you that. Just look at Ohm's law, um, it just isn't going to cost you that, okay? Um, a decent, well-manufactured hot tub with good insulation, um, you know, you're going to be looking around about four or five pounds, okay? Something like this here with an air source heat pump, okay, you're looking at 75% reduction, so you're back down to sort of pre-energy crisis levels. In terms of payback, that's what you're after, in terms of payback, um, 18 months, two years, after that it's free energy, okay? Um, Got another one here. We've got them on demonstration um, at our showroom, freezing cold <laughs> out here. We'd love to see you. Got any questions, um, give us a call, um, send us an email, drop us a, uh, a message, message us on Facebook or, or Instagram. Look at our YouTube channel. We've got some other um, uh, videos on there. But yeah, essentially, air source heat pumps range from around about two grand um, all the way up to about two and a half and roughly about 18 months payback. Anyway. That's Wardy signing off, freezing cold. Uh, catch you later. Cheers, guys. Bye.